All right, what up everyone? It's Adam back with another review. This time I'm reviewing the Soundcore C30i True Wireless Earbuds. Now these are open ear earbuds, the earbuds that have that clip on design. There's a lot of things I was a little worried about because I was like, well, are they gonna look goofy? Are they really gonna feel comfortable after a while? Are they even gonna sound good? Probably most importantly. So Soundcore did provide these for review and just right off the bat, I gotta say, I'm impressed and they are addicting to wear. So please like and subscribe if you find value in this video and let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm starting out with the tech specs. They weigh only 5.7 grams. So you kind of forget they're there actually after a while. They're IPX4 rated. 10 hours of playtime with the earbuds, 30 hours total with the case. And they have different ear grips, so you can adjust the size on how they're gonna clip onto your ear. And there's 12 millimeter and 17 millimeter drivers. Also, they do have multi-point connectivity. So when it comes to sound quality, bass is the only thing lacking. Everything else sounds fine. There's definitely mids, treble, highs in there. Multiple genres sound great with these. For me personally though, Yes, hip hop is gonna perform least best because of the drivers and because of the way they sound with the bass. But other than that, my biggest takeaway with these with sound is because of how loud they get and how quiet they can get, which is crazy to say, I love listening to a lot of audiobooks and podcasts with these because of how well the fit is. With how good they fit in my ears, I mean, even now with I show you how you put them on, once you take them out of the case, you just tilt it, you put it on the top of your ear first, and then you slide it down until it gets to the point of it being right above your ear canal, just like that. And then boom, yes, I know it's there. It's not like I don't feel it at all, but it's not weighing down my ear or anything. It's just resting there. As long as you have it right slanted at your ear canal, you're just fine. Now I'll do a little bit of a shake test with one at least because I'm holding the mic. And for me, I mean, it's not going anywhere. And okay, on video, it doesn't look that bad, like I'm shaking that hard, but maybe it's the frame rates or something. But yeah, I was shaking pretty hard and nothing. It didn't move at all. So with fit, I'm telling you, if you're someone that wants to listen to something for a long time and you're just tired of the earbuds, in-ear earbuds or headphones, get these because the fit is the second best thing. So with the controls, this is where, this is the only flaw I found. And it could be a software update. It's not the worst thing, but it's still there. So you can see the physical touch control right there. You can see the sensor. And the thing is, I love that, I love the design of these so much. I love everything about these, except for the touch controls. I wish there was a physical button. Because if you think about it, without wearing a beanie or a hat or anything, I'm having to kind of flap my ear to the side and then hold the ear button and then press the button or tap it you know, single tap, double tap. I don't have problems with long pressing or a single tap, but double tap and triple tap, that's when I ran into problems because it couldn't engage it right. It wasn't able to actually know what I was trying to enable. The sensor wasn't accurate. All right, let's get into the app functionality with these awesome earbuds. These things are so addicting to wear, but you have 3D surround sound. Controls are completely customizable for either earbud. I have it best set up like this. I was most concerned with volume controls and I have it for volume up on the right, volume down on the left. You can change that to whatever you want. Same thing with either double tap or triple tapping. It can be any of these functions. Call controls are fixated to just this, which makes sense. I don't see why you need more than that, answering or declining. And then if you go into dual connections, you can toggle that here, and you have your prompt tones. I highly recommend having this so you hear a prompt tone because with volume controls, sometimes it can be hard to gauge depending on where you're listening to, if it's actually getting louder or quieter. And it's, it just makes it easy so you know it's actually working. Oh, there's one more thing I forgot to mention about the controls, and that's if you go to the settings here, there's a control lock. So if you wanna not have accidental touches, that's what this is for. When the function is activated, the touch controls and touch sound effects of the headset will be temporarily disabled. Now, as far as the battery life with these, the crazy thing about it is the battery life lasts so long that I wasn't concerned with that. Multipoint connectivity is awesome. It's really seamless. If you connect it to your laptop or your iPhone, or I tested it with an iPhone and an Android phone, and I didn't have any issues with multipoint connectivity. At this point, it's hard to have any issues with that. Now let's go ahead and get into a microphone test. All right, so here's 
what the earbuds sound like in a quiet office, not much noise or anything. And if you were to take a call, let's play some background noise real quick. And this is what it would sound like if you were taking a call in a loud coffee shop. Let it play for a little bit. And then now I stopped it. So hopefully that gives you a good idea on the difference. And that's pretty much gonna sum up this review. So there's no other thoughts I have to share. I believe that covers everything. But overall, I love them. I mean, there's the flaws are just minute. You know, for a new design like this, it's nothing that really made me be like, man, the product's not worth the money or I dislike these. No, I'm addicted to wearing these. It's just, yes, because I'm doing a review, I'm gonna tell you the truth about everything. So let me know your thoughts or if you have any questions in the comments below. I really hope you enjoy this and I'll see y'all on the next one.